All right, this video is going to give you a uh, quick overview of what we're doing in this lab. Uh, this lab serves two purposes for us. It gives an opportunity to practice for our midterm lab portion, uh, where you will be required to complete a config in the lab. Um, so the first part of this lab tells you to configure your equipment like the midterm lab guide says you should. Um, so essentially it's going to be a, a subset of what we did in lab three and in, in lab three we did a config where we had two PCs a switch and two routers this config it's simplified you're going to configure your two PCs your switch and we're only going to configure one router so you'll use your your lab three subnets if you remember from lab three you'll find your lab three subnets in your router IP uh, you will create subnets for your LANs you will do inner VLAN routing on your router. Uh, you will configure um, the external interface of your router to connect out to my network. Uh, you will add a static default route to forward traffic to my network. So that's the config you need to do this week. Uh, you should have uh, commands somewhere uh, noted, either your command summary sections from your lab three uh, in lab four lab report, we should have notes uh, from those things. The things you're, you're at being asked to do on this week's lab, you have already done. So that is the config part. Uh, once you get the config completed, uh, then we will have this uh, lab sheet to go through. Uh, the first part just has you look, has you look at a ping again. We've, we've been looking at, at pings for a while, so that, that's nothing new. Uh, so, so step seven wants you to look at an echo request and echo reply in Wireshark and find the type and the code. Um, we want to save that capture for submission. Um, lab uh, step nine says start another capture. Uh, we just want to capture traffic and see if we have any ICMP error messages coming back. So you want to start it and let it run for about five minutes. Uh, you can start it on Linux and Windows just to see if we get any different results from the two. And then uh, after about five minutes, stop it and look if there are any ICMP error messages in the traffic. Uh, if you see some error messages, you, you want to identify those messages and then um, look, look at what caused them. So, uh, yeah, that, that's that part. And we want to save those errors if we get errors. Um, we want to save those errors uh, for submission in, uh, when you submit your lab report. So... Uh, that's the first part of the lab. The second part of the lab, we're going to take some actions that will cause ICMP error messages to be sent to our device. Um, so uh, I have two sets of commands down here. Uh, one set that we're going to run on Windows and another set we're going to run on Linux. So for each of these commands, it's going to cause an ICMP error message to be returned to uh, the device that sent it. So for example, uh, from Windows, we're going to run this traceroute command. Um, traceroute will send out, um, let me take a step back. Traceroute is used to map out the route your packets will take through a network. And it does that by sending out packets, uh, IP datagrams, with a low time to live value. So that low time to live value, it starts with a time to live of one. So the first router that receives that packet will kill that, that uh, packet and send an error message back to the to the host that sent the traffic. The next uh, set of packets that get sent will have a time to live of two. So the first uh, router will, will decrement that to one. Uh, the next router will decrement that to zero and kill it and send back the, the time to live exceeded message. And that's how we can use use uh, low time to live values to map our, our route through a network. So uh, I'm not gonna go through all of these uh, commands uh, and what they do uh, right now. Um, there are other videos for that, but essentially for each of these commands, uh, you will run the command, you will, sorry, let me start over, you will start Wireshark, you will run the command, you will wait for the reply to come back, uh, you will stop Wireshark, you will do some analysis, uh, and then you will save that capture file. So I, I will need capture files for all of these commands that you sent uh, and received. Um, some people like to do one long, large capture file that has everything in it. Some people like to do one capture file per command. I prefer one capture file per command because I don't want a 50 meg capture file to have to manage. Um, so you should really try to do one, one uh, capture file per command. So uh, the last thing I want to talk about is this week's packet tracer assignment.
this week's packet tracer assignment is due before class. So I want you to do the midterm practice. Um, I want you to do the, the midterm practice before class this week so that you are prepared to quickly and competently configure your stuff when you get to class. Uh, so this week's uh, packet tracer is due before class.